shoot. Hey, 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 hey. All right, we're back for part two of the Book of Noah. Volume down. All right. So like I said, this is chapter two, the Book of Noah from the Nazarene Bible. It's called the Holy Megillah, Nazarene Bible of the Essene Way. Now let's go. Chapter two, the incarnation of Isaac as Noah. Then behold, the time came for the fulfillment of the prophecy spoken by Abraham and Sarah that their son, Holy Isaac, would come to earth as their sacrifice. And the time also came for the fulfillment of the words of the Lord and Lady that Lucifer would be banished from the earth. And the story of the fulfillment of those two prophecies now follows. The coming to earth of Isaac as Noah was in this manner. Abraham and Sarah, who lived within the temple of light, which is the seventh heaven, and is within the sun, came secretly to earth. Yea, on many occasions they came secretly to earth, but this time their purpose was different. Yea, this time they came to make a baby, for the time of the fulfillment of their words to the Nazarenes had come. For lo, many hundreds of years earlier Abraham had declared these words to the Nazarenes, Behold, Lucifer wished for me to sacrifice my son Isaac, and so I will, but not in the manner desired by Lucifer. Lo, rather than aid the work of Lucifer by performing the sacrifice he desired, we will hinder his work by sacrificing Isaac in the manner of the Lord and Lady. Wherefore, through, Luc through Lucifer, sorry, wherefore, though Lucifer now mocks us, Elohim will have the last laugh. For the meaning of Isaac is Elohim laughs. Behold, a time will come when the Nazarene remnant is in dispersion and in need of help. Yea, there will be many such times. And each time the Lord and Lady will, the Lord, and each time the Lord and Lady and their servants Abraham and Sarah will respond by sending teachers and prophets from El Cush. But on one such occasion, behold, Abraham and Sarah will make a special sacrifice. We will send our son Isaac into this world, for Isaac has no, has so requested, and we have agreed. And when he comes as man, as a man, he will take a human name. Yea, he will be called Noah, for he will bring comfort to them tossed by the storm that Lucifer will unleash. And when he dies as a man and rises to El Cush, he will serve as the angel of water for the tree of life for this world, and his cherub name will be Noet Noachiel or Noat Noachiel. Behold, the descendants of Noah will be of royal lineage, for when Isaac comes as a man, he will carry within him the seed of Abraham and Sarah, for his body will not be birthed by human parents, but by us and his soul will descend to earth on a beam of sunlight. And as Noah will for a time forget his true origin and fall into the unseemly pursuits, but then will awaken and ascend, even so will our royal bloodline do likewise. Yea, those are the words spoken hundreds of years earlier by Abraham to the Nazarenes. And Sarah had declared unto the same assembly of Nazarenes, Behold, the atmosphere will grow so heavy in this world that they who come from above to take human incarnation will likely forget who they are and, and why they came. Only if they regain their memory of their identity and purpose will they be able to accomplish their missions. Lo, some will come here and not awaken before death. Yea, some will be trapped in this world and some will tumble down the golden ladder to lower worlds. For, be, for with, without memory or the, of their identity or purpose that they may fall into lower activities that cause the contraction of consciousness. And the more they fall, the less likely they will awaken. Wherefore, it is a great risk to leave a higher world for a lower world. Yea, we call that the great sacrifice, and that will be the sacrifice of Isaac. Thus spoke Abraham and Sarah hundreds of years earlier to the Nazarenes, and now, behold, the time of the fulfillment of that prophecy was at hand. 
And so Abraham and Sarah came secretly to earth and conceived a baby for the soul of Isaac would need to incarnate in human flesh. And in the moment of conception, riding on a sunbeam, the soul of Isaac left the sun and the sunbeam became the rainbow bridge and took him to earth. And the soul of Isaac entered the humble body of a human embryo. Yea, the wearing of a human body by the soul of Isaac was indeed a step of great humility. For to do so, he stepped out of his cherub body, which was like a glorious robe of light, and came to earth naked. Yea, having shed his glorious robe of light, his naked soul put on the humble robe of human flesh. Behold, this was the crown prince from the seventh heaven, the son of the mighty king and queen, leaving his heavenly palace and royal robes behind on a mission of mercy to a much poorer land. And then having arrived naked in that land, the prince put on the rags of human flesh. And so it was that this crown prince of the seventh heaven, son of Abraham and Sarah came to our world. Abraham and Sarah took their baby and placed him at the door of a Nazarene home. Lo, they knocked at the door, then vanished, returning to the sun. For behold, they had performed the act of sacrifice, and now Isaac must perform his. The woman who answered the door was crying, for lo, her baby and husband had that morning been slain. Not for being Nazarene, they were slain. Not for being Nazarene were they slain, for Nazarenes were near extinct and mostly forgotten but to serve as meat for great evil had spread throughout the land and some had embraced cannibalism for the false Yahweh who ruled from his palace on the island of Attila had long demanded human sacrifice and now also encouraged cannibalism. Yea, he told his priests by this shall they all men know that you are my disciples that you eat human flesh and drink human blood. For this is the bread and wine of my covenant. Do this in remembrance of me. Ooh, it's going to keep going. And so cannibalism had begun to spread throughout the land. For having first eaten animal flesh, it was not so hard to eat human flesh. Wherefore the woman who answered the door had found baby Isaac was crying for Though she was Nazarene and vegetarian, cannibals had slain and eaten her husband and baby. Finding Isaac on her doorstep, the woman was comforted. She said, I will name you Noah, for you bring me comfort. The woman whose name was Nechama raised Noah as her son. Having lost her husband, she took Noah and went to live in the home of their father, Isaiah. Where are we at? 10.21. Okay, chapter 3. I'm going to do it on the next one. Isaiah, grandfather and teacher of Noah. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for chapter 3.